Welcome to a short video about a little Unity trick that allows you to boost your development cycle on Android until Unity version 2019.1. The technique is called Android Package Patching and I'm showing you the required steps to make faster Android builds of your game. For a dollar free patronage you can download the little game which I prepared to explain Android Package Patching. Feel free to use all assets and scripts in your own projects. Speaking of which, I want to say thanks to our patrons who help us to make these tutorials and our game codex possible. A special thanks goes to Simon Zineder, David Heinzel, Erich Gangl, Melina Brunner, Robert Hartl and Reinhard Bauer. If you like our tutorials, then please support us on Patreon as well. Now let's jump into the video. Preparation In order to use Android patching, you have to do a little preparation. Open the build settings in Unity. Click on player settings and open the other settings tab. Search for the scripting backend field and check if mono is selected. Then you're done in that window. If instead IL2CBP is chosen, make sure that strip engine code is disabled. For production, you can enable this option again of course. Back in the build settings, make sure that development build is enabled. Then build and run the application. After some waiting, you are able to play our incredibly entertaining game where you have to collect yellow spheres that give you points but also shrinks your player. Be careful that the player doesn't disappear. You may notice that we have a bug here. The yellow shrink items don't get destroyed when you collect them. Let's fix this. Patching Ok, let's open the item script and provide a destroy method where the item gets removed from the scene. Now switch to the onTriggerEnter method of the item collector class. At the very end, after firing the item collected events, you can call the destroy method on the collected item. First, try the fix in the editor. It seems to work. Now let's give it a try on Android. Open the build settings again, but enable scripts only build this time. Instead of pressing the build and run button, click on patch and run. The transfer to the device should be slightly faster. Of course, the difference of the build duration between a patch build and a normal build increases with the size of the game. Clear patch files. To undo the patching done by Unity, you have to clear the application's cache. Click and hold on the application's icon, hit App Info, select Storage and click on Clear Cache. That's it. I hope this little tip incites you to test your game on a real Android device more often. Don't forget to give us a like, subscribe to our newsletter, support us on Patreon and subscribe to our channel. Have a nice day, it's your Sensei.